Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. One of the questions I get a lot is how to plot complex numbers or complex functions in MATLAB. Well, it turns out it's not that hard. You just got to know a little syntax. So what I want to do here is I'll write down a complex function here on the board, and then we'll go over to my computer, and I'll show you how to work with it. Well, an easy one to start with is something called the Euler relation, or Euler equation, I guess. And this is something that shows up in engineering a lot. Okay, it relates a complex exponential to sines and cosines. And it was discovered or invented, I guess, by Leonhard Euler, who invented or discovered, you know, seems like half the math we use in engineering. And so this is, this, if you use uh, Fourier transforms a lot, this is baked into Fourier transforms. So anything that oscillates in, in the engineering world, you'll see stuff like this. So E is just what you think it is. It's that constant that's the base of the natural log, 2.71828, whatever it is. I is a square root of minus 1, and X is, this is our independent variable. X is the thing we're going to get to change as we wish. Now, big idea behind complex numbers. There are two kinds of numbers in this world. There are real numbers and imaginary numbers. Now, worst names ever. I wish they weren't called that, but that's what we've got. So, these two are independent of one another. They are unrelated to one another. You can't express one in terms of the other. So there are two separate individual kinds of numbers. Now, I've checked with mathematicians. There are no other kinds of numbers lurking out there waiting to ambush us. But there are real and imaginary numbers. And when we work with them together, we call the result a complex number. So when I put x in, x is the independent variable. x can be whatever I want it to be. So let's write that down. It's going to be an independent variable, and I'm going to calculate something using this definition. That'll be the, the dependent variable. That doesn't get to be whatever it wants to be. It has to be whatever this uh, assigns it as. So I'm going to make a list of x's, and in this case, the, the independent variable x. x is real. Okay, I'm going to start with a real number, and I'm going to get a complex number out because that's the function I'm working with. Right, so that's the big idea here. Let's go over to my computer and I'll show you how to work with this in MATLAB. So here we are in MATLAB. Let's start by making a list of x's and those will be my independent variable. Okay, and I'm going to 4 pi so I can get two complete cycles here. And let's make my uh, calculate my dependent variable y and I'll make that e to the i x. Now, exp is just MATLAB talk for e to the x, means exponent. i really is the square root of minus 1, and x is my dependent variable. So there it is. You can kind of see over here, it's a little small, but you can see that the uh, y is complex. Well, is it really? Let's try. Let's, let's take a look at just the first 10 numbers. And yeah, those are definitely complex. They're having a real part and an imaginary part. So let's see what happens when I plot it. I'm just going to do the dumb thing here, the obvious thing. I'm just going to plot y versus x. Well, it did plot, but I got a warning. Now in MATLAB, red means an error. That means the command you issued is so goofed up it won't run. Orange is just a warning. It runs, but MATLAB wants to tell you something. In this case, it said that the complex parts are ignored. So it only plotted the real part of y. Now that does look like a cosine wave, so that's good. Maybe I could plot the real part in a more intentional way. Let's do this. Let's ask it specifically to just plot the real part of y. Well, I get the same plot, but now I don't have a warning, so that's good. If I plot, can plot the real part, can I plot the imaginary part? Sure. Just give it the imaginary command, and there it is. Okay, now that looks like a sine wave rather than a cosine wave. Starts at 0 instead of 1. So we're proving to ourselves that e to the i x really is a sinusoidal function. Well, what happens if I want to plot just the magnitude rather than the real or the imaginary part? Well, MATLAB will let you do that. Now, ABS means absolute value, and that means magnitude. Well, I got it, but it looks kind of goofy. I got a whole bunch of 9's down here and 1.000 something up here. 
Well, what's going on is that it isn't obvious, but e to the ix defines a circle with a radius of 1. And so what it's trying to do is it's trying to plot x on this axis and 1 on this axis. And since it's 1.000 something here, it's expanding the we're zooming in to the vertical plot range to try to guess at what the upper and lower plot bounds should be. Mm. Let's do something a little more intentional, a little easier to look at. When I type in the axis command, I can just ask MATLAB what the axis limits are. And there they are. X goes from 0 to 14. And Y goes from 1 to 1. That's the problem. Well, if I can ask it what the axis is, axis limits are, I can tell it what the axis limits are. Now, those square brackets means this is a vector. When I asked for axis, or axis limits, what I got was a vector. x1, x2, y1, y2. Well, I'll just give it a vector back. Let's see what I got now. All right, that's a little easier to look at. So that worked. Let's clear that. The last thing, could I plot x, real value of y, and the imaginary value of y on the same axes. Sure, that sounds like I've got three components, so I probably need a 3D plot. Let's do that. Plot 3, that's a command for plot in three dimensions. And it's even offering me suggestions on what I might want to type in there, telling me what the syntax is. So there's real y and imaginary y. What's that going to look like? Ooh, it looks like a spiral. Well, that's kind of cool. Let's blow that up so we can look a little closer at it. Now, it looks like it's kind of distorted. Uh, the axes aren't equal, so let's fix that. And I'll also turn the grid on, make it a little easier to look at. So there. Hmm. Well, let's do this. Let's rotate it here. Now, look at that. If I look at it from the end, if I can line it up here, oh, can I do that? Almost. There. You can kind of see it there. It really is a circle when you look at it from the end. When I look at it from the side, what is it? Ah, oh, son of a gun. It's sinusoidal when you look at it from the side. And when you look at it obliquely here, what you got is a spiral. So that's what it looks like in 3D. So there you have it. There's several different ways to plot a complex function in MATLAB using simple commands. All you got to do is learn a little syntax and it's no problem. I hope this helps. I'll talk to you next time.